So we have one more presentation and then there's gonna be another drawing, so sit tight. Um, so last but certainly not least in this track is the Bagel Bots, Team 60389. They're a group of passionate sixth to eighth graders united by their love for robotics and innovation. This season, the Masterpiece season was their first ever in the FLL world. So it was an incredible journey of teamwork and growth for them, earning them awards all the way up to the state level. So enjoy the presentation about their innovation project. All right, whenever you guys are ready. It's wired. Uh, you can, you can soon. <laughs> It's already been. It's already been. Hello, everybody. We are part of the Babel Bots. My name is Emma. My name is Cynthia. I'm Steven. Today, we're going to tell you a little bit more about our innovation project. So, last year's theme was masterpieces, and the innovation project prompt was to use technology and art to express our hobbies. While we were brainstorming, we found that all of us had had previous experience with piano and really enjoyed it. So now we had our topic. All we needed to do was find an audience. And what better audience to teach piano to than hearing impaired kids? Before we could start, we had to do some research. Our team first researched hearing devices for the deaf that include hearing aids, methods, direct audio devices, and Bluetooth streamers. We wanted to use these to help enhance the deaf kids' music experience, but we found out that these devices aren't meant for detecting music and cannot pick up on some specific pages. So we moved on to look at using other senses to enhance music. These senses include emphasizing rhythm, visualizations, and vibrations. We decided to delve more into visual representations, and we searched online, and we found this organization called the Rosicrucian Order, which included famous composers such as W.C. and Satie. They had a theory that paired specific colors with specific keys, and we, we utilized that in our own project. Last but not least, we looked on the market for other um, apps that could teach deaf kids piano. But we concluded that although there were some apps that enhanced the hearing impaired kids' music experience, we found out that they didn't actively teach them any new piano skills. After all this extensive research, we came up with a prototype. The heart of our innovation project is designed around affordable and easily accessible components. At the heart of our solution is the Raspberry Pi. It's a compact computer that connects to your TV or monitor using a single HDMI. <coughs> to complete this setup, you simply attach a mouse and a piano keyboard to the Raspberry Pi using USB connections. The software of our innovation project is open source, which means it's free. We created a custom web page using the programming languages HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. The Raspberry Pi offers a free web server and web browser right out of the box. Our web page can easily detect keyboard key presses and display the corresponding note with a distinct color. Now I would like you to learn more about the outreach and feedback. We did the outreach and feedback to that advice as share with on piano. We hold one outreach at the professional. <coughs> National Festival by taking surveys. We got 46 surveys response in total, which shows interest in music, vibration, and current enhanced musical experience for kids, and then and apps. Now we put all the information we got on the spreadsheet to analyze them. We showed our project to our friends, Brayden, who has hearing problems. He has two years of experience on piano, and with several gave them. Lastly, we showed our project to our, to our friends, parents, the staff, and the father, and famous conductor. We suggested many features, including 
vibration, and others for different users' choices and better tune on those. So based on research and valuable feedback, our solution has gone through four main stages. Our very first idea was to connect a real piano to a monitor and have each note have a corresponding color, turning the music into a colorful visual experience. However, real pianos are very expensive. So to make our solution more affordable, we searched for something cheaper. That's when we came upon version two. It's essentially version one, but instead of on a piano, we used the Raspberry Pi to power it on a computer instead. What we didn't stop there, using the feedback that we received, we made version two even better. Now, users can play on a real MIDI keyboard and choose between different modes like learning, playing, and experiencing. The best part is, because of the Raspberry Pi, our solution is compatible with both direct audio input devices and Bluetooth hearing aids, so if users have that, then they can connect it directly to the Raspberry Pi. And after going through all of these different versions, we come upon our final version, the Bagel Keyboard. The Bagel Keyboard is an affordable solution to help hearing impaired kids learn the piano. It runs on a Raspberry Pi and uses a MIDI keyboard, monitor, and vibration modules to help the user better experience learning the piano. Users can choose to play freestyle or select a song to listen to or learn by following along with the on-screen music sheet and keyboard. When a key is pressed, the corresponding note name and color are displayed on the screen and the frequency of the sound is imitated by vibration modules. What are these vibration modules doing anyway? Well, sound travels in waves and you hear, you hear when those waves hit the inside of your ear, vibrate the inside of your ear. And we found that when you press a vibration module up to your ear right here, then it, then it vibrates the bone of your ear in a similar way at different frequencies, and it's almost like you're hearing the music. So we did a cost analysis of our Bagel keyboard, and as you can see here, it costs $210.99. However, most users will already have most of the supplies, like a computer screen, a mouse, or a keyboard. So it's actually really cheap. And even at full price, our solution is still one of the lowest on the market compared to other hearing aids and cochlear implants. That's it, thank you. And before we take questions, we would like to demonstrate our prototype. So as you can see, um, you can... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Online. Oh, okay. Um, so one person noticed that many teams use vibrations to help people hear. Um, is there anything else that can help them hear instead of vibrations in their ears? I think that's probably the only way because uh -huh. that's how you hear. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for your presentation. Thank you.